beautiful, beautiful. It's has to do with nature. It has to do with a positive attitude. And that is two things I love rolled up into one. This mantra today comes from Zan Oku. And Zan says, may the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary. May the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary. So if you're looking outside your window right now and you see some flowers, we'll remember the positive results or the light at the end of that tunnel, especially when we're in a storm and woo, those storms can last long, can't they? Well, today, right now, let's remember why the flowers are there because of the rain. The rain was necessary to create those flowers. I hope that speaks to your heart as it did mine. Well, friends, are you ready? Let's do this. We're actually gonna start sitting on our yoga block today. I'm gonna kneel. I'm gonna encourage you to do the same. So if you have your yoga block nearby, you wanna place it on the medium setting. And on that medium setting, it'll be just like this and placed horizontally between the ankles if you're kneeling with me. And I just want you to start on a nice solid surface today. Not too deep of a stretch through the quads, not too deep of a stretch through the knees and the ankles, toes facing the back of your space. So get cozy on your block. We are gonna start nice and comfy today. Draw your navel into the spine, roll your shoulders down and back. And close your eyes, friends, or just take a soft gaze to the earth and just start to breathe. Sometimes it's important to begin with stillness, just taking this time to slow down. I sometimes think my main pursuit in life and not just the pursuit of happiness as you may find yourself on your own journey, but the pursuit of balance, how to slow life down. And when those times in life become overwhelming and sometimes it just seems like back to back, storm after storm, challenge after challenge, conflict after conflict. Right now in this moment, it's a great reminder to sit still, to breathe, and just be reminded of this pranayama that flows in and out of our bodies naturally, innately. This life force that grounds us, that enables us to find peace within, We're just letting go of all the cares. Releasing yourself from responsibilities. And then just noticing the details of what it feels like to be in your body right now. Giving yourself this time of stillness, this time calm and comfort. To collect your thoughts, to be still. You'll notice the mind drifts. That's what the mind does countless times. So when you notice, come back to your breath. Notice your posture, notice the jaw, invite a softening in. And then right where you are, staying soft through the gaze, even with the eyes closed. Inhale, simply shrug the shoulders to the ears. And as the breath flows out, Soften the shoulders down, back, distancing from the ears. We'll do just a few more of those, breathing in, 
lifting the shoulders toward the ears. And with your natural exhale, slowly finding the opportunity to let go again. And a breath in. And out, relax your shoulders down. And we'll do one more inhale, shrugging the shoulders. And a deep release as you exhale. And start to notice the body as it settles into the posture. Noticing sensations throughout the body. Imagine a rope pulling the crown of the head a little taller. Roll the shoulders down and back. And with that same awareness, that force pulling the crown of the head tall and that grounding through the lower parts of the body, inhale and slowly look over your right shoulder. Doesn't have to be a deep twist. Just starting to awaken the spine. Keeping the belly toned, inhale, come across the center. And then exhale, simply looking over the left shoulder. Eyes can remain closed for a soft, subtle gaze to the earth. Inhale again through center. Exhale, look over the right shoulder. Toning the belly through your inhale as you release the twist. Exhaling, looking over the left. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, twisting to the right, bringing that left palm to the right thigh, even taking the right hand to the small of the back, going a little deeper in this twist. You may start to feel your obliques engage, your abdominals, aware of your posture in this breath and in this one. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, twisting a little deeper to the left, right hand coming to that left thigh, left hand tucking behind the back, breathing into your abdominals, breathing into your spine. Tone the belly, inhale across the center. We'll go a little deeper again, right hand to that, left hand rather, to that right thigh, going a little deeper in this twist and really toning, tuning into the toning of the abdominals, the massaging of our internal organs. Inhale, center, stay tall, tone the belly, and then exhale, twisting to that left side. Feel the breath, traveling in and out of the nose, and then exhaling, coming back to center. On your next inhale, friends, you can use that second block under the right hand, or you can place it to the earth, reach the left arm up and over, stretching into that left waist, toning now through the left sit bone, really rooting down into your block. Take that left thumb, reach it now toward the back wall, still reaching over. Think about reaching to the back right corner of your space. And then inhale, let's come back to center. Feel the obliques here lifting and lowering the body. As you inhale, reaching to the left side. Now that left hand can use the same block, fingertips to the mat or a flat palm. Really just depends on what feels good. Take your right thumb, reach it back. So I want you reaching back as much as you're reaching over. Again, think of the back left corner of your space. Good, inhale, come back up across center, toning the belly. Exhale, take it over to that first side, rooting through the left sit bone. You might find a little deeper into that side bend this round. If you're not really ready, that's okay too. And then inhale, tone the belly, coming back up and exhaling over, reaching for the left side of your space, rooting through that right sit bone. Exhale, come to center. Really nice, friends.
On your next inhale, with your hands simply on the thighs, start to roll the shoulders down and back, lift the sternum. I want you to arch your spine for cow variation. And then friends, as you exhale, you might slide your hands down the thighs, chin to chest, round your spine for cat. And then inhale, my hands slide up the shins, hug the elbows back, lift through the sternum, finding your cow shape, and then exhale, round tone your belly, chin glides to the chest for cat, really stretching through that cervical spine. We'll do one more round. Inhale as you arch. Exhale through the nose, tone the belly, round deeply into cat. And then inhale, coming back up to center. Good. One more gentle back bend. Now, if you're not ready for this, take any variation. Hands to the low back for camel variation, if you'd like. Or to go a little deeper, hands will come to the mat behind your feet, or they can come to that yoga block. Lift your sternum and then squeeze your shoulder blades, stretch your breath, stretch your throat. A lot of weight into that block of sit bones really rooting in. And then exhale, come back up to center, back to that neutral spine. Let's remove that yoga block, friends. You did a great job. I actually wanted to stay there <laughs> and get right into our meditation. No hurry intended. <laughs> As you come into our table pose, just want to get into those outer thighs and outer hips. So take your right toes, tuck them onto the mat, send your right leg straight. So heel toward the back of the mat. I know you probably can't see my right leg. Glide your toes over to the left edge of your mat. Now you can see my foot. Press the heel back to the left corner of your space. Shift your hips just a tad to the right. And if you can, look over your left shoulder, locate your right heel. Breathe into that stretch. Continue to press the floor away. Naturally, you'll feel a little more weight into the right palm. That is A-OK, -okay, friends. Inhale, come back to center. Slide your toes back and back into your table as we get ready for the second side. Inhale, tuck your left toes. Send the heel to the back of your space. Feel the glute engage and then slowly keep your toes tucked. Slide them over to the right edge of your mat. And then when you're ready, shift your hips slightly left, look over the right shoulder, locate that left heel with your gaze. Good, now you might feel that toning again through the obliques. Really important, we awaken that region before we go into those postures, the deep stretches and expect our spine to move in those six directions that it so benefits from. Inhale back to center and back to table. Really nice. Take your knees the width of your mat, bring your toes together, sit back to your heels, and then just glide slowly down into a nice, easy variation of child's pose. We're still slowly and gently today awakening the body. Your elbows can stay on the mat. If you want a less active child's pose, you can also walk your hands toward the front of your mat Elbows floating if you want to go even deeper. Noticing the transfer of wisdom from the earth beneath through the third eye, that wisdom chakra between the eyebrows. And then slowly walk your hands to center. Bring your hands to prayer, thumbs facing the ceiling. And then on your next inhale, toning your belly. Bending through the elbows and then let those thumbs rest between the shoulder blades. This will open up the shoulders, the triceps and underarms. Friends that want something a little deeper, you can even take the blocks and place them under your elbows. That way you can lower your heart and your underarms a little closer and deeper into the mat. Breathing, friends. Breathing into the upper back, you'll feel a nice opportunity here to lengthen, to soften and create space. Exhale, straighten out the arms and then just hug the elbows back toward the knees. And then pressing back up into your table pose. Find yourself at the center of your mat and then we'll come into cat-cow variations. Inhale, slide your heart through the biceps, lifting 
the crown of the head, arch deep into cow, and then exhale, coming right into cat. These variations are the ones we do the most often in vinyasa yoga. Inhale, come back into your cow. So maybe today is the day to go a little deeper, maybe 70% if you're not really feeling the need for depth. Exhale, right back into cat, stretch the upper back, push the floor away. Keep your belly toned. Inhale, drop the belly, raise the skull, raise the tailbone as you come back to cow. And then we have one more cat. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. And then inhale, come right back into your neutral spine. A little wrist work today, friends. Externally rotate the fingers to face the knees, thumbs facing the outer edges of your mat. When you're ready, start rocking forward and back. Inhaling as you bring the heart forward. Exhale through the nose as you bring the heart back. You might even feel as though you're sitting toward your heels. And if you want to stretch those feet, I love these combo opportunities. Tuck your toes, bend your heels back. You'll feel a nice stretch through the fascia, on the soles of the feet, through the Achilles, even through the calves. All prep work as we get ready for other postures like down dog, vinyasas, etc. And then once you've taken a few wrist extensions, come back to neutral. Shake out those wrists as needed. And then spin one palm to the sky, press through the fingernails, top of the hand, or perhaps you're doing both hands at once. You can start with those wrist extensions again by rocking gently forward and back. You might notice the mobility is a little different from one side to the other. And that could just mean the palm placement or from the right side versus the left. So give yourself grace today as you find movement. And then you can switch palms, do those same forward and backward movements. Breathe, shake out the first side. Give yourself that opportunity to create space in any way that feels good. Eventually, you want to go back to that first side if you're doing one at a time. If you're staying with me and doing both, start your rotations. So the heart will eventually draw some large circle motions around the palm or palms. And then eventually changing opposite directions and changing palms. Your thumb fingernails likely want to hover in space, so press them down. You might even feel the shoulders hovering against the ears. Give your space between the ears and the shoulders. Belly is toned, breathing, softening the tongue in the mouth. Friends, once you've done both sides, and you're satisfied with the movement, just slowly come back to sit on your heels, self-massage those hands. As they slowly trace the thigh muscles, breathing into any stiffness, any resistance. If you're having a rainy day where you are, or it's just a little bit cold still, I know we're still in April. Um, we've been in the 90s here in Vegas, and tomorrow it's gonna be 69. <laughs> So spring is still trying to make a comeback, right? <laughs> or shall I say winter? Dare I say winter? I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> you won't hear that word for at least six months in my, it's my conscious self. All right, friends, bring your palms together, interlace your fingers, and then just roll your wrists. While you're rolling your wrists today, inhale, come high up onto the knees and the shins if you can. And then as you exhale, just slowly lower down, sit to your heels. If this doesn't feel good, choose one or the other. We're just going to come up a few times, just starting to activate the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings, the low body. Inhaling, squeeze the glutes, press your hips forward, and then exhale. Just slow and controlled, seated on the heels. Start to make some waves with your wrists. We have just a few more of these movements. Inhaling and exhaling. If by chance you're doing this class seated in a chair, feel free to stand up and sit down. You can activate those lower muscles in the same manner that we're doing. And then when you're ready, our big finish, release the palms, come back to table. We're gonna tuck our toes, friends. We're coming into our first down dog. So join me on the inhale, tuck your toes, send your sit bones up and back. 
press the mat away, bring your belly rather close to the thighs and feel free to keep those knees bent. Just start to sway your whole body from side to side. My heels feel really far from the mat and that's okay. Right now we're focusing on the upper body. Think about taking your rib cage a little closer to the thighs and then just allow the body to breathe into the shoulders. Spread your fingers wide, just come into that awareness of the fingertips taking on just as much of the weight as the heels of the hands. Good, and then start to walk your dog, bending one knee, then the other, sending the opposite heel into the mat. I really enjoy the time given in our practice. How often can we say in the activities of our lives, our lifestyle gives us time, right? That's usually what eludes us the most is time, precious time. All right, friends, when you're ready, walk your hands back to your feet. We're gonna come right into ragdoll. So feel free to bend your knees or use those blocks under the hands. Otherwise catching opposite elbows, you can close your eyes or just soften the gaze between the knees and then swaying side to side. Bend your legs if you want a little less feet in those hamstrings and the back body. This is a great time to focus on just the upper body. By bending those knees, feel the lengthening and the decompression of the spine naturally with the force of gravity. Just a few more breaths here. Release your palms. Inhale, Arda, slide your hands up your shins. Really take a moment to lengthen the spine. Nice. Exhale, back to forward fold. And then flat back, come all the way up. Reach for the sky. And then exhale, friends, cactus shape those arms. Breathing into that front region of the chest. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale. Bringing your palms to heart center, really nice. If you're near a wall, like I am, go ahead and step forward about halfway on your mat or toward the center, spaghetti noodle arms. And we are just gonna find that twisting motion. This is a great time to release, let the tension, the tightness, injuries in the shoulders, the neck, the back, limitations. Whatever is no longer serving you, just envision it trickling out through the fingertips, back into the universe where it belongs. Easier said than done, just do your best. Enjoy those love taps. Can you let go even more in the shoulders? Wonderful, go ahead and slowly find your center. Feel the aliveness through the fingertips through the wrists, your elbows, shoulders. Feel the rootedness through the feet. Feel the strength through your midsection. Good, blinking your eyes to open. Do you have a strap? Can you grab your yoga strap for me? If you don't have one near you, maybe a towel. That's always something I like to use. I'm gonna get into these shoulders just a little bit more today. And we're gonna take the strap and it's gonna be in our right hand. Now with your right hand, you're just gonna give yourself a pat between the shoulder blades. So again, we'll take that strap right between the shoulder blades. So it'll look like this. And then we're gonna take our left hand and bring it around. And as I'm showing you behind, you're just gonna start to walk your hands toward one another. If you can bind your fingers together, you don't need the strap. You can throw that strap off to the side, but I'm just gonna take a nice stretch through the shoulders today. Now, as you can see from the side, my hands are connected to the belt and I'm starting to hunch forward. So again, behind, I'm showing you the opposite. So your right hand is on top, left hand is on the bottom, good. Now, from the side, I'm gonna show you, start to lift up through the sternum, squeeze your glutes together, and now think of a, being a back bend. Press your strap into your spine and just a gentle back bend. And now press your elbows toward the back wall. Ah, feel that stretch. Breathing into that stretch. 
Breathing deeply, stretching the front of the body, stretching the shoulders. Ah, exhale, release that bottom arm slowly, release the top arm. Scratch your nose if you have an itch like me. <laughs> I couldn't take it. I had to bring us out of the stretch. All right, let's switch sides. So the strap will go in your left hand. Give yourself a pat between the shoulder blades with your left hand. Good. So just like that. So from that left hand, there you go. Just give yourself a pat and let the, the strap hang. Reach your right arm around. Grab that strap. We don't need perfection. We're just working our hands toward one another. Keep breathing and keep drawing the belly in. Try to avoid hinging forward in order to get that better clasp on the strap. All right, as you find yourself in your deepest expression, soften your shoulders. Lift up through the sternum, find a gentle back bend, press your elbows back toward the wall behind you. Ah, you might even feel an inch or so taller here. Engage your glutes, be aware of those abdominals, and now that gentle back bend. Don't have to go far here to feel that stretch. Keep gently pressing your elbows back. Keep lifting the heart to the sky. Exhale back to neutral and release your bottom arm. Release the left arm. Really nice, friends. You can take that stuff off to the side. I wanted to awaken those shoulders before we begin with our vinyasas today, just as a way to clear out those cobwebs, right? We've talked about that before. Find yourself to the front of your mat. When you're ready, join me. We're gonna inhale, reach your arms back. Think about drawing a big circle on the wall behind you, beautiful. Exhale all the way back down. Keep reaching for that back wall, good. We're gonna do two more of those. Inhale, reach back, slowly reaching up, reaching for the wall behind. Again, I'm gonna show you from the side, exhale down. So this isn't a back bend, this is all just the shoulder work. One more, inhale, reach back. Come up, looking so strong, everyone. Great job. This time, exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Now, as you forward fold, lift the hands toward the ceiling and then come back, find a rag doll. This time, friends, grabbing opposite elbows. Once you clasp, switch it up into that unnatural grip. Maybe the legs will be a little straighter this time. Swaying from side to side, breathe into your back body. Now we just did some nice stretching for the shoulders. I want you to really feel the benefits here. Distancing the shoulders from the ears slightly. Looking between the knees, you might find a straightening of the legs. And this time, even a bit more weight transferring toward the front of the feet. Heels may even hover. Never required, just an option. Release your palms. Inhale, reach wide, reach for the ceiling. Come all the way up with that flat back. Beautiful, reach for that back wall. Exhale, practice your arms, back bend. So remember, press your hands back, lift your heart high. Inhale, reach for the ceiling. And exhale, palms to heart center, really nice. We're gonna open those shoulders again. Interlace your fingers behind. Engage your glutes, so squeeze a penny between your glutes. And then again, I'm showing you from the side. From here, reach for the back of your yoga mat. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, good. Lift your heart. Can you lift your gaze to the ceiling if it's comfortable? Maybe where the wall and ceiling meet. Now friends, stay right here or exhale, coming into that forward hinge. Now you're gonna lift your knuckles toward the sky. Let your head hang heavy. You might even end up looking between the knees to the wall behind you and then keep stretching the shoulders. Chin may even come to the chest. You might even take your gaze to your navel. Knuckles heavy toward the earth. Inhale, find the gaze to the front of your yoga mat and then slowly come all the way up. Once you get to the top, release the hands, stand still. I'm going to let another friend in and I want you to breathe. You all are doing so well. I'm so hoping you're feeling these sensations through the body as I am. Coming into our balancing section. So use the wall over to the right edge of your mat if you'd like. We're just going to come into tree pose. As you inhale, stand on your right foot as your arms come up to draw that beautiful circle on the back wall. Find your tree shape. 
maybe today without using the hands on that left leg. And it's okay if it doesn't go up high. Beautiful, exhale, trace that circle back down, come back to Tadasana. Good, we're gonna go on to the same side. So once again, inhale, use those arms to reach back, focusing on the shoulders, bringing that left foot up, tree pose. Exhale, slowly lower down. Remember, it's how we're getting out of this. Reach for the back wall today, getting into those shoulders. We're gonna do one more. Inhale, on the right foot, so same side, slide that left foot up the inner right leg, find your branches, breathing, use that wall for assistance and support. Exhale, lower down, and left leg now becomes our base, same thing. Second side, feel free to use a chair or the wall. Inhale, start to slide that right foot up. Reach for your back wall. Come all the way up into tree pose. You'll notice today's a little different. We're not looking for our deepest expression, just checking in. Exhale, reach for the back wall. Imagine drawing that big circle. Bring the right foot down to Dasana. Good, two more friends. Inhale, reach back. As the arms slide up, that right foot slides up the left leg. Beautiful. Feel the strength of the body. Exhale, release. Still stretching the heart space by reaching back. Good. And last one. Inhale. Slide the foot up. Reach. Find your deepest expression. Look at that balance. Beautiful. And exhale. Slowly lower down. You did amazing. Shake out those arms, friends. You know what? Let's do the backstroke. Let's end up in, uh, I don't know, Bora Bora. <laughs> Just a couple. For those of us that'll never get there, <laughs> this is our only chance. Let's backstroke. Just getting into those shoulders. Let's change it into the front stroke. Inhale, bring the arm up and around. Try to avoid twisting into it. Right now, I just want it to be about the shoulders. So. Keep those hips squared to the front of the mat. Try to keep your shoulders squared to the front of the mat. We're almost there. One more stroke on each side. We've reached Bora Bora and we're never leaving, are we? <laughs> Shake it out, friends. We're gonna come into another balancing posture. So again, if you're using a wall, maybe over to the right edge of your mat, coming into dancer pose, not to Jarasana. Right foot is gonna be our base. We're gonna inhale, bend your left knee. You're gonna use that left hand to catch the big toe or inner arch of the left foot. Draw your knees together. Do you feel that stretch? You might stay here in the quad stretch. Otherwise, when you're ready, hand to chair, hand to wall, or just reach forward. Inhale, kick into that left hand and reach. Don't worry about how high the leg goes. Just feel the balancing, right? And again, I'm gonna show you from the side, which is not easy to do without coming out of the pose. Instead of hinging forward, I want you to reach and I want you to kick. So just think of yourself here like a seesaw. Feel that dance, if you will, of balance between the leg and the upper body. One more breath. Inhale, knees together, good posture, and release. Shake out that right side. Shake out that left side. Heart rate is up if you're like me. Let's go into that second side. Left foot will be our base. So remember, you wanna almost feel that rubber band sensation, right? You're kicking into the right hand as you find the inner arch with your right hand, bring your knees together, broadening the collarbones, getting a stretch in that front deltoid of the right shoulder. Inhale, reach your left arm forward and kick into that right hand. So remember that little rubber band, you don't have to do this motion, but that's the way I want you to feel. The more you kick, the harder you'll reach. Keep your breath steady in and out of the nose. And then exhale, knees together, good posture, tone the belly and release. Really nice, friends. Shake it out. You did a great job. Grab a yoga block for me. We're going to use our yoga block right underneath our sit bones, coming into malasana our yogi squat. So you'll see I'm taking a wide stance. Balls of the feet are off the mat about 45 degrees. You can use your block in its tallest setting. Place it right underneath your sit bones. 
We're going to do something fun while we're in Malasana today. So I actually encourage all of you to use your blocks. So at least to start, you could always take it out. On your inhale, nice straight back. Imagine you're back against a wall and then exhale, slowly lower down. Just double check, make sure that block is right underneath your sit bones, just as you need. Good, wonderful. Now, if you're me, I'm placing all my weight into that block. So if you're using foam blocks, just be aware of that. All right, friends, from here, hands are gonna come to the inner thighs. On your inhale, keep your feet right where they are. You're gonna take your left knee and then just inwardly rotate it. See if you can lower it down. And that inner knee is going to press into the mat, feeling that stretch, that internal rotation of the left hip, inhale it back up to where we started. Now, if it doesn't go all the way down, that's okay. See what you can do. Inhale the right inner thigh, inward, tapping that inner right knee. That doesn't feel good. Don't do it. You can just stay right here. Lowering the first side. I see you, Sophie. You can do what you can. Do not push it. I know your knees. Lower that right inner thigh. Now this is just breathing into the hips, getting a little deeper into that internal rotation. And remember, if it doesn't work, that's okay. Last one. Beautiful. Now come back to our familiar posture, palms to heart center. When you're ready, we're gonna stand, lift all the way up. Ooh. Hands to the hips. Can you turn your feet straight onto the mat, but keep them wide? Come right into those hula hoop motions. Breathing in and out of the hips. Sending calm, sending peace, change directions. Now, if what we did did not feel good, friends, all I want you to do the next round is to come down and hold malasana like you always have, right? There's nothing that says you have to do these new moves. We're just giving it a try. We're just practicing. Give those hips a little shimmy. Make sure they're feeling set. Turn your toes back out. Readjust where that block is. And when you're ready, palms to heart center. Nice flat back. Exhale, slowly lower down. Coming with that weight onto your block. Put the trust in your block. If you have a chair, you could always do it from a chair as well. You're going to stay right here. Option two, you're going to bring your hands to the inner thighs. Inhale, pressing that left inner thigh in or all the way down. Just see. And then bring it back up. I want this to be about your abductors and your internal rotation. It does not have to be difficult on your knee joints. Any pain in the knee joint, don't do it, friends. It's not worth it. Breathing, give me one more rotation on your second side. I didn't cue you exactly when to go because I want you to feel what your body needs. Keep your upper body nice and straight. And we're just practicing and seeing what our bodies enjoy and maybe don't. Bring your palms to heart center when you're done. Don't rush when you're ready. Inhale nice and tall, hands to hips. Keep your toes the way they are. And this time, just sway those hips side to side. You can remove the block. We're going to get rid of that block. We won't need it for much longer. Beautiful. And then I want to get into the hips for just another moment. We did a lot with the shoulders initially. Toe heel your feet to the center of your mat. Feel free to use the wall along the right side of your mat if you'd like some balance assistance. Hands to the hips. Inhale, draw a big circle with the right knee. And again, we're going to do just a couple of these. This is still in our balance section, friends, because we're really working the core stabilizing muscles, strengthening that left leg. Now, you might not really notice this, but see if you could bring your right heel closer to your sit bone and then draw those same circles, same direction. Heel as close to the sit bone as you can. One more and release, Woo, shake it out. We're gonna do the second side. Standing tall, draw your belly in. Bring that left knee in and up, exhale it out. Now I'm keeping my hands on my hips. If you don't like that, you can bring your palms to heart center. If you have a buddy there, you can rest your hand on their shoulder, <laughs> whatever's feeling best for you, or you can shove them out of the way. Get out of the way, this is my yoga class. 
<laughs> Bring your left heel toward your sit bone. Give me a few more of those same rotations. Now this might feel a little new, a little awkward. Keep breathing. Three more, just kidding, last one. And release, shake it out. Hello hips, happy Thursday, right? Happy Friday Eve, as I like to say. Let's come to the front of our mat, friends. That concludes our balancing section. You did amazing. Inhale, circle your arms, reach for the back wall today. Really feel those shoulders opening. Exhale, reach back, swan dive down. Beautiful, forward fold. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, palms to the mat, step back to your plank pose. You can lower the knees here. Chaturanga on your exhale, slowly lower, halfway down. Inhale, cobra shape or up dog. And then exhale, down dog. Take some time, walk your dog, sway your jaw. Yes, and no motions with your head and neck. And we haven't been in down dog for a lot of today's class, but you'll notice when we're here, it's a deep one. Bend your knees and press your torso closer to your thighs, sway from side to side. Good, lower the heels, straighten the legs. And then slowly lower the knees to the mat. We're gonna come into Bamukhasana. So bring your right knee to the center of the mat. Cross your left knee behind the right, left knee behind the right. Walk your toes out to opposite edges of the mat best you can and then walk yourself back. End up sitting between your feet. You might need to move that left foot manually out to the side. So the right knee stacked above the left the best you can. And then it's really important you take a moment here, especially if you're feeling tight in the hips, see if you can notice your posture, press through the pinky toe side or edges of the feet, let your knees relax, tell the hips to soften and just find your breath here. Hands can rest at your sides, on the legs, but whatever you do, let your right sit bone come soften down to the earth. If you're noticing it's just not physically there, use a pillow, use a rolled up mat or blanket and place it under your right sit bone. That's gonna help to even out your hips. Just a few more breaths here, my friends. Just telling the legs to soften, to let go. Good, on your next inhale, take your right hand, reach it out to the mat beside you or a block. Left arm comes up and over. You're gonna feel a deep stretch through the left side body and let your knees slowly soften a little closer to the ground. You'll feel a nice deep stretch through that left hip. Good, inhale, come back upright. As you exhale, take that right arm up and overhead, reach out with the left palm. Now, one side is gonna be a lot easier. For many of us, it'll be this side. You might go even deeper. That is up to you. Keep pressing that right sit bone down into the earth. Keep telling the legs to let go. Good, inhale back to upright. And then let's come out of this posture. Use your hand to help you forward, unravel your legs. And then one of my favorite moments in table, just those deep, low rotation, circle motion with the hips. This always feels so therapeutic after Gamukhasana. Breathing into your hips, breathing into your knees. You'll notice we did a lot for the shoulders today. We also are doing a lot of hip work. And remember friends, it's not that we do how many postures we do say for the hips, you can do one or two in a day in your practice and they just hitting the depth. Like I said, listening to my cues, just doing your best to tune out the outside world just helps us to create that elasticity, flexibility in the body that we so desire. All right, when you're ready, bringing your left knee to the center of the mat 
and then crossing that right knee behind the left. Toes will walk out to opposite edges of the mat. So go the opposite side. If I happened to cue it backwards, you know me, it's Friday Eve, anything's possible. Walk your hands back. And, and just for the record, anything is possible on a Tuesday as well. <laughs> so I did cue it right. The right knee behind the left. Come back this time. You might sit on that left foot or right foot rather, and then bring that out to the side. I'm all over the place. It happens. I've got the weekend on my mind. How could you blame me? Inhale, lifting up nice and tall. I told my earlier class when I made a mistake, I said my other excuse is it's my first day on the job. <laughs> if you can't laugh at yourself, what can you laugh at? Inhale tall, soften that left sit bone into the mat. Find that rolled up yoga mat, a blanket, whatever works. And sometimes friends, this is your side. This is the side that will challenge you. So just soften, remember where we started. Remember where we're going, just to soften, to introduce space. Stay tall, roll your shoulders down and back, whatever it is to just remind your body, it's all going to be all right. Left hand will come out, reach your right arm up and over on your next breath. And as you find your stretch through the right hip, Tell that right hip to soften. Tell the knees to let go, dropping a little closer to the earth. Soften your breath, letting go of expectation. And then inhale, bring that right arm down. As you exhale, come up and overreach to the right side of your space. That left sit bone wants to come off the mat, lengthen it down, keeping the hips even, allowing for that stretch as well as that softening. So it's not just about the stretch, my friends. It's about the letting go. Release as you come to center. Take another deep breath in. Deep exhale through the nose. Let go through the hips. And then press yourself back up, coming as you find yourself into table. Unravel the legs, finding that same soothing motion of the hips. Those deep, long breaths matching the large circles. Each one, friends, larger than the last. And then eventually, allow yourself to drag your sit bones from side to side across the heels. And then once you do a few of those, bring your big toes to touch. Knees will widen the width of the mat and find your child's pose once again. This time, keep your elbows floating off the mat. Let this be an active child pose. Press your palms firmly into the mat. And then draw those shoulder blades away from the ears. Turn your triceps inward and up. And you'll feel a deep release in the upper back, in the lats and the shoulders. And then walk your hands together. Your elbows will come to the mat. Find prayer with the hands, thumbs facing the ceiling. Inhale, bend the elbows. Let the thumbs drift to connect between the shoulder blades. And breathe into the shoulders, breathe into your upper back. Each exhalation, allow your underarms to come a little closer to the earth. And then release the arms, draw your elbows just a little closer to those knees. Take a full breath here. A deep breath out and gently pressing up as you slowly bring your legs around. And let's find our way to our backs. And then friends, once you're on your back, your spine is safely there, grab your eye pillow, a towel, anything you'd like to use. 
for our meditation, which is coming up in just a moment. And then take any other postures you'd like for your body. Inhale, bring your knees into the chest. Take happy baby. Let this be a very deep variation of your happy baby. Slow down the breath. Let your knees be heavy toward the earth. And then release, nose to knees. Take in your longest in-breath of the day. Allow for a pause at the top. And with a big sigh, extend your limbs long. Take up space, cover your eyes. And take rest in Shavasana. Allow the tongue to relax in the mouth. Lips, they separate. And let the eyes roll back into the sockets. Observe the sensations through the body. From top to bottom, bottom to top, front to back, side to side. Breathing into your heart. Observe the energy that travels in with the breath, filling your heart space. You might notice tingling, a shift in temperature. And as the breath flows out naturally, the exhale permits a settling in and a letting go. And this breath coming in, providing vitality, enthusiasm, Excitability. And the exhale. Allows the body to get rid of the extra energy trapped and stored responsibilities or cares that you no longer need. You feel the hands softening. Feel the weight of the hands on the earth. Sensing the energy from the breath into the hands. Allowing that energy to travel up the arms, through the elbows, into the shoulders. And breathing into the shoulders, that same lively energy. Feel the sensations from the hands, through the arms, to the shoulders. Notice the length 
and the volume of the arms. Feeling that energy through the senses in the upper body. And then breathing into the pelvic region, the glutes, the hips, the low belly. Notice what that energy from the breath feels like as it travels through your pelvis. Are the sensations the same as in the upper body? Or are they new or different? Observe the legs. As you breathe into the legs all the way down through the knees, the ankles, the toes, the heels. Sensing that same energetic field. Now traveling through the entire being. Notice how the body, the physical body has no boundaries. Notice what it feels like. Notice the healing element of these sensations of the breath. May the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary. Breathing into your entire body. And as the breath flows out, notice and sense what you feel in the arms, the legs, the heart, the pelvis, the feet and hands. And taking another breath in. And another breath out, fully releasing any tension, anything that no longer serves. Start to sense your body. Notice the temperature of the air on the skin. Start to wiggle the toes and fingers. Open and close the mouth. Sway the jaw from side to side. Inhale the arms overhead. Lengthen your body one last time. And exhale. Hug the knees in, giving yourself one more hug. Massaging the low back. Roll to one side. Take a moment of stillness.
And when you're ready, my friends, gently pressing up to a comfortable seat. Ah, I hope you feel a release. I hope you feel at ease. And I wish you a very happy, healthy, and slow-paced weekend ahead. Look forward to seeing you next week, my friends. And uh, have a great one. You did wonderful today. Namaste. Thank you so much. Did anybody else want to stay sleeping? <laughs> Take care. <laughs> happy weekend. Bye-bye.